Hey guys, so I want to first off thank you a lot for all these suggestions you gave me uh, when I asked what kind of web app or app in general that you'd like to see. And I got a lot of good suggestions and a lot of good ones that I can do in the future. So I went ahead and I picked, I'm going to be doing the Airbnb clone. And here is kind of what I'm thinking about, kind of the roadmap, if you will, uh, of what things I want to touch on and do. So with this, my focus is I really want to not try to make the best Airbnb clone that's closest to it and has the best design. Really what I'm wanting to do is show you guys how you can share your code between a React and a React Native um, project. So we're going to be building a website for this and we're also going to be building a Android and iOS app with React Native and we're going to be using yarn workspaces to share our code so really a nice core of this is going to be how the heck do you pass GraphQL queries or mutations between them and kind of reuse uh, your code in an efficient manner now you can't reuse everything and we'll talk more about that um, when we get into the details of doing it and the other thing is I am not great at design so we're not going to be making an Airbnb clone that looks exactly like um, Airbnb um, or has all the features. So we're going to do a subset of them. And uh, I'm going to be using a um, bootstrap or a design library. I think what I'm going to be using is Ant Design and use this to um, save time on design. And you guys can put extra design and make this look prettier if you like to. And I would actually recommend that. Um, if you haven't done too much CSS or um, whatnot to try uh, styling this guy up as we code it. Um, but I'll probably be using that. And here's what I'm thinking on the progression of that will go. So I'm going to start with uh, creating the register and the login for the website. And then after that I want to try something new. So usually what I'll do is I'll deploy the whole thing at the very end. What I kind of want to try is deploying it at the beginning now. Um, and see how that goes. So this will kind of get it to where we can do. Um, I set up the deployment and then show you kind of how you would, you know, as you would in real development, add features and then redeploy or continuously integrate in it. You know, your app gets better and better, and you guys can go online and kind of view the app and see what it looks like uh, versus your own as we progress. So that's going to be the second thing we'll do, and then we'll go ahead and. Uh, create the React Native app, um, the register and login page for that. And then we're just going to go in sync, doing both the website and the app at the same time, um, building out forgot password, um, and then creating a listings page. So uh, creating uh, an Airbnb listing, like a form we'll probably be making. And then actually viewing the listing. This could be a single listing or multiple listings, um, right? kind of like a scroll view, if you will. And then we'll also do a chat, so this you can chat with the person who creates the listing. Um, and we'll be building that out and use uh, subscriptions for that, so it'll be real time. And then at the end, I always like to take just some feature requests. Um, what you guys um, would like to see or a feature that I didn't do that you'd like to see how you might implement it or that sort of thing, um, which will come at the very end. And uh, so yeah. so. These are basically the three main features that I'll be doing out of Airbnb. I might do reservations. I might do some little extra things extra because this is pretty simple. Um, I'm kind of want to see how long it takes to do this um, and then add more if I uh, uh, if it goes really quickly. But yeah, and then the only other thing is we're going to be using TypeScript for this project. And I already mentioned how we're going to be using Ant Design. Um, and yeah, the plan is we'll just do, we'll code a new section of it every day uh, starting tomorrow. So if that interests you, stay tuned. And as I said, we'll get started tomorrow.